So, you've been editing for hours and it feels like you're not going forward. You just want to get it done faster, without losing quality. Well, it's your lucky day because you're about to learn the secrets to editing super efficient. Let's launch Premiere. Number 1. Trimming your videos faster and without using a mouse. To do that, you need to understand ripple trim first. Let me demonstrate. When you drag your playhead on a clip and hit the Q key, everything on the left side of your playhead will be deleted and the remaining part will snap to the clip in front. Let's say I want to delete the last part of my clip. Then simply drag the playhead and hit the W key. This will delete everything on the right side of the playhead and all the clips on the right side will snap to your current clip. Now that that's clear, we're gonna take a look at the JK L keys. With the L key, you can play forward in the timeline. If you press it two times, the playhead will move two times as fast. You can keep tapping L to speed up the playback. To stop playing the video, hit K on your keyboard. Now let's move on to the J key. This one works exactly the same, but you can use it to play your video backwards or to rewind it. Okay, now you know how to navigate through your timeline. You can add cuts and use the Q and W buttons to trim your video extremely fast. This is great for rough edits, but what if you want to make these super precise cuts? You need to be able to move around frame per frame and you can do that with the arrow keys. Unfortunately, they are too far away from the JKL keys. Now, to make it more accessible, we're gonna set some shortcuts. Go to edit and then keyboard shortcuts. In the command list, search for one frame. Find step back and select it. Then hit the N key. Now select step forward and choose the period key or whatever keys underneath the L key. Now you can set your cuts extremely fast and precise. Your edits will be done in no time. Next, I want to give you my secret customized shortcuts that will help you speed up your edits. First, go to edit and then again on the bottom, choose keyboard shortcuts. As you can see, most F keys on top are unused and you can actually use them to assign your own favorite shortcuts to them. On F1, I like to have keyframe ease out shortcut. To do that, find it in the command list. Type in temporal. Then once you've found it, click the empty space next to ease out. Now press F1 on your keyboard. I also added ease into F2 and linear to F3. Now when easing keyframes, you can use the F keys instead of right clicking constantly. For F5, I added the nest feature. That way you can quickly nest a selection in the timeline. On the F6 key, I added the frame hold shortcut. That way I can add freeze frames in a second. Now there's so much more you can do with custom shortcuts, so definitely explore them. The next trick is gonna blow you away. Learning your shortcuts in general will seriously step up your editing workflow. I actually know a hack that will help you learn them super super fast. Here you can see a special Premiere Gall editing keyboard from Editor's Keys. They're also sponsoring this video by the way. Now as you can see, all the Premiere Pro shortcuts are right there on the keyboard. They are color grouped as well, so that you can see what each button does when you hold down shift for example. This will help you learn shortcuts you didn't even know existed. The battery of this thing is amazing. The charging time is 4 hours and they actually claim that this thing can last up to 3 months on a single charge. The keyboard is fully backlit and you can change the brightness as well. It's also cross-platform compatible, so you can use it on your Mac, Windows, Android, iOS, whatever. You can actually connect multiple devices to your keyboard at once with these Bluetooth profiles. For example, a laptop, PC and a Mac. Now, if you don't like it wireless, they also have wired keyboards as well. Now, what if you're not looking for a keyboard, but you really want to learn the shortcuts? Well, they actually have keyboard covers for MacBooks or for the iPad Magic case. This is of course for Premiere Pro, DaVinci, Final Cut and much more. All you need to do is lay it on top of your keyboard and when typing, you barely notice the cover. This also works as a protection to make sure your keyboard stays clean. If it gets dirty, you can just wash it off. There you go. So, if you want to level up your editing skills, check out Editor's Keys by clicking the link in the description down below. Now, let's get back to Premiere. What if you could turn multiple Dimetri effects into one single LUT? That would save us a lot of time because we don't have to mess around with presets anymore. Now, unfortunately, that's impossible unless you know my secret workaround. So in the effects controls, you can see both my Lumetri effects. To turn them into a LUT, go to the timeline and duplicate your clip. Then with the second clip selected, go back to the effect controls and delete the Lumetri effects. Now go to the Lumetri panel and open up the color wheel and match tab. In here, click on comparison view. Now in the program monitor, you will see your current clip on the right. And on the left, you can select a reference clip with the timeline. Find the video with the two Lumetri effects applied. Now it's time to match your new clip with the reference video. You can also change the view of your comparison. I like it to be on split. Now to match the clips, click on apply match. There you go. Both your Lumetri effects are now applied in one Lumetri effect, which means we can turn it into a LUT. Now to do that, go to the menu on top and choose export.cube. Now in future videos, all you need to do is apply this to your LUT and there you go. You're done. So you ever just want to drag your clips in the timeline and bam, the clips are perfectly synced to your music. Now in Premiere there's something called automate to sequence that will save you a lot of time 
time. First, move the player to the beginning and then press the space bar to play. Press M to place a marker on every beat of the song. You know, just use your feeling for music. Now head over to the project window and go to the first clip. Then move your cursor into this blue line. If you press I on your keyboard, you will set an in point. This means that when you drag it in the timeline, the clip will start from the in point you selected. Do this for all your clips. Next, you want to put them in the right order that you want them to be in the timeline. Now when that's done, click the automate to sequence button. In this window, you can choose the type of ordering, which is going to be in the order of the project window. Now set the placement to unnumbered markers to sync them with the markers we've set. Then click on OK. And now all your clips are synced to your music. Next up, Premiere's templates. Stop making empty projects, creating the same folders, adding the same assets over and over again. This is a time killer. In Premiere Beta, you can actually save this project and use it again as a template. To do that, go to File, then Save as Template. Let me give it a name real quick. Now, when you create a new project from scratch, you can choose this project as a template and all your assets and folders will be loaded inside. This is a huge time saver and soon this will be available to the official version of Premiere. Now, let's move on to the next trick. So, you're almost done editing and you suddenly notice that one of your audio clips is missing. Now, instead of wasting time on searching for your audio clip and trying to sync it again, I know a trick that you're gonna love. Select the clip with the missing audio, then hit F on your keyboard and this will open up the source of your video. This is called Match Frame and the in and out point of your clip will be right here. Now, simply click and drag the audio waveform into the timeline and there you go, your audio is now recovered. So, you probably already know that you can transcribe speech inside the Premiere Pro text panel. Now, it's not really necessary necessary that you do this for every clip separately. Premiere can now do this in the background as soon as you import a clip. To enable this feature, go to Edit and then Preferences. Then click on Transcription. Here you can choose to automatically enable transcriptions. Then you can of course choose to auto-transcribe your clips in the sequence or the timeline. But you can also select to all important clips. If you go down, you can choose to enable language detection. In my case, this is always going to be English. Now when you drag your clips inside Premiere, it will start transcribing automatically and on the top right you can follow the process. But in the meantime, you can just continue your work. Now, if you've been testing the new beta, you already know that the new features are mind-blowing. For example, you can now delete pauses and fill the words with one click of a button. To do that, go to the filter icon on top. Choose, for example, pauses. Every pause will be highlighted in your transcript. And to delete them all at once, simply click the delete button. Then choose extract and there you go. That is amazing. Now, there are many more new beta features you should definitely check out. And to do that, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.